What if I told you that Tesla's future does not lay in Cybertrucks, robo-taxis, or selling 20 million Wise models? The secret to the company's success will be found in the most basic of its products, the Mega Pack. The Tesla Mega Pack is a large metal box filled with batteries, a few power inverters, and a device to keep everything from suddenly combusting. That is all there is to it. When you have plenty of energy to go around, you fill the box with it and then take it back when you need it. Tesla has been selling these battery boxes for almost three years, but unfortunately, even industry insiders frequently brush over Tesla's mega pack business to keep the conversation focused on vehicle delivery numbers and selling prices. As a result, when most observers hear that Tesla has reduced the price of its best-selling Model Y by 20%, they immediately conclude that the company is in complete disarray and profits are bound to decrease. Yet, at the same time, those of us who have been paying attention realize that cars' cost is relatively insignificant compared to the business that Tesla is establishing around the Mega Pack, a specific product with a potential to be successful as, if not profitable, Tesla's whole vehicle portfolio. Let's speak about how the Mega Pack will transform Tesla. Tesla in 2023. The fundamental reason of our optimism about the Mega Pack in 2023 is a full rethink of the product specs, pricing structure, and manufacturing method. Tesla has been producing Mega Packs from their Nevada Giga factory for the last three years, the same place where they create battery cells and modules, as well as their drive units for all Tesla's made in America vehicles. The energy storage section had its tiny corner of the warehouse, and the agreement was that any battery cells left over after car packs were finished would be tossed into the storage products. So, from 2019 to 2022, the Mega Pack used the same 2170 size Panasonic nickel cobalt and manganese battery cell, which is excellent battery for high performance electric cars such as Model 3 or Model Y. However, for a box of batteries that simply sits there and stores energy, this is entirely unnecessary and has stopped Tesla's energy storage division from ever earning a profit. The energy segment has roughly 5 to 10% gross margins for 2022, so they've been making money, but more is needed. Tesla's vehicle division gross profit margins have averaged around 30%, give or take, which is tremendous return. That is a leaps and bounds ahead of the automobile industry. Elon Musk, on the other hand, has even higher expectation for Tesla energy, predicting that gross margins on storage goods may reach as high as 65%. So, a significant modification is required to meet Elon's expectations. So how do we travel from here to there? The development of Tesla's new mega factory in Latrop, California is a crucial indicator that the company is prioritizing energy storage. A whole factory is dedicated to creation of the mega pack. However, the product coming out of the new mega factory, which opened in the late 2022, is completely different from what was previously on the market. As a result, we may concentrate on three major elements. The massive factory for one has a new battery supply chain with a unique battery composition. Instead of stealing high-performance nickel-based cells from Giga Nevada, the Mega Pack factory explicitly imports cells from CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer. And the Tesla has chosen a unique battery chemistry known as LFP, which replaces the expensive and elusive nickel, cobalt, and manganese elements with plain old iron, the same stuff that your father's frying pan is made of, and it works just fine. Now, thank you for reaching this point. Make sure to finish this video to know more. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and like, comment, share, and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. Because such unusual metals are required for great energy density and power production, LFP is not a suitable chemistry for attempting to produce a car-like model S blade. However, when it comes to a large bag that only stores energy and does not move, LFP is an excellent choice. It also has certain distinct advantages over iron-based battery cells. You can charge an LFP battery to its full capacity without incurring any chemical deterioration. That chemical will also withstand extremely high charge and discharge cycles. You can easily get 5,000 full cycles out of your battery before it starts to lose capacity. This equates to 11 years of use, assuming the Mega Pack was fully charged and is charged every day, which is never the case, indicating that devices are built to last. Because of the abundant iron cathode material, the LFP batteries will offer up to 30% cost decrease per kilowatt battery capacity. But more crucially, the supply of these batteries will be much more abundant. The second factor is manufacturing volume. At Giga Nevada, Mega Pack production appeared to peak at roughly 4 gigawatt hours per year, which is a lot of batteries, but this has resulted in a Mega Pack delivery waiting list that currently extends into at least the third quarter of 2024. 
so there's certainly enough demand to support a large expansion in volume manufacturing. That is where the Gigafactory excels. On this production line reaches full capacity, 40 gigatons of megapack units will be produced each year. We know that a larger total production volume means a lower overhead cost per unit. It's more difficult to quantify but its additional cost savings bake in on top of the lower material cost. The third part is pricing. Tesla has aggressively raised the price of their new Megapack unit. A year ago, the cost of a Megapack would have been roughly $1 million or $461 per kilowatt hour of storage capacity. The most recent pricing update on the Megapack was in December of 2022 when the price had risen to almost $2.6 million or $615 per kilowatt hour. That equates to a 33% improvement in battery capacity per kilowatt hour. In addition, as previously stated, Tesla has achieved up to 30% reduction in battery cost per kilowatt hour. Not to mention, Thing number two, the enhanced efficiency and decreased overhead of high volume manufacturing. As a result, we are no longer talking about a 5% gross profit margin on energy storage, that figure will skyrocket. We won't see the entire impact on Tesla's balance sheet for a few quarters, which will most likely be a year or more away, but this shift has been baked into every mega pack order since the fourth quarter of 2022. So for those of us who have been following the Tesla energy narrative news that the price of Model Y is dropping by 20% isn't going to bother us because it's such a small amount of the money compared to the value that is being created in energy storage goods alone right now. It's as if Tesla reduces the price of a $60,000 car by 20% and the headline explode. But they raise the price of a multi-million dollar package by 30% and no one notices. Now is the time to put everything into context. So let's take a step back and examine how supply and demand have affected Tesla's pricing strategy. Sure, the price of a Model Y has dropped by 20% but if we take a step back, we can see that all the firm has done return the pricing to where it began in 2020. Before the supply chain madness in Gulf of the entire world. Elon was always open about the fact that he would only raise the price if he had no other option. So, when the company faced an increase in material cost, a decline in material availability, and a consistent growth in consumer demand, something had to alter to maintain a reasonable balance. When prices rise and demand falls, chaos reigns. Elon then stated that he would reduce the price as quickly as possible. As a result, inflation begins to fall, supply chains reopen, the consumer market is diluted by a greater choice of electric vehicle offerings, and prices can be reduced to drive demand while maintaining supply balance. It's a lovely dance. If we try to picture where the mega pack is on the supply and demand curve, we can see that the demand has yet to begin. So Tesla Energy is currently in the same position as Tesla vehicles when they initially launched in 2012. They have a product with which no one else can compete. They have a limited production capacity and an abundance of early adopters with deep pockets who are willing to pay a price to get their hands on this revolutionary technology and demand surges tremendously from there. From building 11,000 cars per year to building 1 million vehicles per year. The energy storage market is on the verge of doing the same thing. According to a report by the Energy Information Administration, a branch of the United States Department of Energy, the United States now has roughly 8 gigatons of installed battery energy storage, with the department expecting this figure to rise to just over 30 gigatons by 2025. That has more than tripled demand in only two years, and the US will need 100 gigatons of energy storage by 2030 to satisfy its current climate goals. And the US government is assisting in stimulating the economy by including an additional tax credit in the Inflation Control Act Act, which goes into force this year. All energy storage installation will be eligible for a 30% tax credit for renewable energy companies. So this just balances out Tesla's 30% price hike, bringing the actual cost of a mega pack back to where it was in 2020. So you're getting a sense of the potential here. Domestic US demand for energy storage will be sufficient to exhaust the mega factory's entire production capacity by the end of this decade. That's 40 gigawatts or 40 million kilowatts, which is nearly 25 billion dollars in revenue per year at the current rate of $615 per kilowatt. But remembering Elon Musk's fantasy of a 65% profit margin, even if they can come close, we're talking about something that will massively outperform Tesla's automotive operations. On that alone, we'd be looking at a multi-trillion dollar company by 2030. And when you add in self-driving cars, Tesla bots, and everything else, it gets a little terrifying. 
Everything may be unduly helpful, but it's also far-fetched. So we're taking the numbers and extrapolating them over the next 5 years. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be updated for more upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, did you know what SpaceX's 5th Falcon Heavy's top secret mission? If you want to know more, make sure to click and watch this video here. See you there!